Junkyard builds sort of are a great thing if you're into old cars because you can find ample parts in pick apart places. You can also find cool cars that you could find on Copart that are trashed or, or whatever. But mostly the cheaper stuff is going to be older cars because all the depreciation has happened, plus they're probably trashed, which is why they're on Copart or Junkyard in the first place. Are there more modern cars that you can kind of do this on a budget? And the answer in short is no because they're still modern cars. <laughs> Even though they're trashed, you're still gonna pay a premium for having a more modern <clears throat> car than a car that's 20, 30, 40 years old. However, there are some cool things out there. And I think what we can do is we can go on Copart right now and just search around for some stuff. But as we sort of queue that up, one of the first brands that comes to mind for modern stuff is, of course, Volvo. I'm very into Volvos. I've done ample searching for Volvos on Copart. You can find modern sort of cosmetic damaged Volvos for pennies on the dollar. A good example of this is I've always had a dream build of a modern P3 generation, which is like in the like, like maybe like a 2012 or 2013 XC70, which is like that lifted wagon that Volvo had done. And you know, drop it, you have the body cladding that's sort of plasticky that is almost, it almost acts like a factory wide body kit. It's like the six cylinder engine, which is a similar engine. I think it's the same engine that's in this guy here, my V60 Polestar. Uh, it's a six cylinder inline three liter. So that would be kind of a cool build. And you can find them on Copart for way less than half with just cosmetic damage. So that's like a good option. I see Charlie actually just put in chat Miata. Miata is another good option. Cheap sports car that you can find with damage to maybe like an NC, a late model NC or an early uh, ND Miata. That's a really good shout as well. You can probably find those on Copart for a good cheap price. You can probably fix up with some cosmetic damage or even some significant damage that you that would be a good option. And also Steve said a wrecked Chevy GMC van. They usually have an LS, iron block LS, yeah. which everybody knows you can boost to the moon. But it's actually funny. I saw a meme a couple weeks ago and it was how to do an LS swap on the cheap. Go to U-Haul, rent a van, take engine out, put junkyard. It was, it was just... That's true. Don't um, do that, but that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't advocate that thievery. Which basically is that it, that is that is theft. So anyway, I was poking around Copart a little earlier, and really there's kind of a few cars that rise to the fore. First thing first, cars that are going to be cheap at salvage yards or Copart or junkyards, everything like that, they're going to be inexpensive brand new and not damaged the more desirable a car is or the more expensive it is the more it's going to draw in people to to want to try to get it when they're at a quote bargain so obviously right up right, right off the bat you have the brz hard to go wrong here engine swapped a plenty ls 2j whatever very inexpensive simple things that have been done and you can make a pretty decent little rocket ship out of them. I saw a lot of GTIs. If yep. you're into Volkswagens and, and things of that nature. What kept coming up is stuff like this. The Genesis Coupe. The original Genesis Coupe. Actually, this is a facelift. This one, not specifically. Just because that whole right front looks fun. These are incredibly affordable. And again, massive uh, engine options. Minis kind of popped up all over the place. Minis are, are an interesting shout because they're super fun. They're tiny. They weigh nothing comparatively. They're super chuckable. And one of the most fun I've ever had in a car was in a Mini, actually. It was at New York Auto Show. Chad, I don't know if you were there, but it was one of our old contributors, uh, Greg Linez, who used to write for us when we did uh, the website. Hanson and I, and I forget if you were there or not, but we basically, Greg had his sister's Mini, which was like a 1.8 with a little supercharger on it. We just drove through New York City at like 2 a.m. after going out. It was honestly one of the most fun things ever. There was nobody on the streets, and we were just able to like rip this little Mini up to like, 30, even it wasn't even fast. It was like 35, 40 miles an hour tops which still is speeding in New York City. But, you know, it was a convertible. You got a little supercharger wine in there. It was just super fun. It was it was awesome to, like, just chuck the car around, have that, like, more visceral experience with the uh, with the drop top. And it was great. I'm a huge advocate of minis after that. This is a really interesting find. These are definitely cool little enthusiast cars, no matter who buys them, mostly, which is just people that want a relatively cheap commuter car. The JCW, the John Cooper Works minis, especially supercharged, yeah. 
are cool little things, but like even something like this, I think is really cool just because immediately first thought that comes to mind, like doing a build like this, is obviously you repair it, you get it to where you need to get it. I always thought it'd be cool to put like a turbocharged Hayabusa engine in one of these. Just have something that howls. I mean, those engines can make 400 horsepower streetable, especially if you get the right motor build. And it's like a lot of things in motorcycles to get like a built motor is cheaper than you would think as far as the automotive side of it. I think Steve pointed it out and mentioned it is uh, he's always wanted to find a blown MR2 and build it. I honestly think that a Gen 2 MR2, kind of like this, would be a perfect foundation for a white block. I think it'd be cool, but the thing is, like, that's not really a modern car. That's a car from the 90s. Right. You can find these cheap because they are old and because a lot of them have blown engines, the transmissions have exploded or, or whatever because it's such an old car and people beat on it. This is an awesome car to do that, and I super advocate for that, but the problem is the question is about modern cars. So minis are still modern, and you can still do everything we're talking about to a mini in the that, that's been produced in the last 10 years. And MR2, unfortunately, they've been for years. The third gen of those are, they're cool, they're underrated. The second gen is the best one, let's be honest. MR2, great shout, not a modern alternative to doing this. Alan comes out with the ubiquitous mm. K-Swap. Alan, I don't know if you follow Mighty Car Mods, but they took a classic Mini and put a B16B in it, uh, which is epic. Christian joins the chat. Ooh, what, a mini build? Huh? They're fun little cars. I wouldn't necessarily get this generation of mini, but yeah, they're fun cars. They're just fun to, to drive in. You yeah. know, it's the perfect example of, you know, light enough with enough power, you can have a ton of fun in. You absolutely can. Like, mini is a good option for a budget build, honestly. Uh, a modern one, too. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think the two best options, if you're looking for like a sporty build, are going to be your cheap sports cars. It's going to be a Miata, and it's going to be a BRZ slash 86. Those are probably your best bets for something cheap that's going to be sporty. For something that's going to be a little bit more family friendly, modern Volvos are good. Just because of parts cost, you know, Toyotas are pretty cheap on the whole. You can do like a modern Camry. The more modern Corollas, probably like 10 plus. Mm -hmm. are pretty good honestly the, the most recent corolla has and i called this back in like 2018 when i had one as a press car the chassis on the new corollas is outing it's better than the civic in a in many ways it just feels more rigid the body control is better the chassis dynamics just feel better the balance feels better type r slash gr corolla aside because i haven't driven the newest type r or the GR Corolla. I drove, I drove the last Type R in the, I think it was a 10th gen. That was like a total mind F of a car. I don't think that that chassis is better than the Corolla chassis, even with driving the Type R. It's a very good car, but I still think the Corolla chassis is better. So a modern Corolla might fit that bill quite nicely, especially if you're looking for a bit more room. It could fit a family, you know, a, small, a smaller family that doesn't have, you know, a ton of space needs. But yeah, I think that, that would be an interesting one to do for sure. The hatch on which the GR Corolla is quite an interesting option they're pretty cool they come with a manual a lot of interesting things you could do there the simple thing it's just like if let's say you're you're looking for a current a regular project right if you're doing a regular project you're going to look for something with that has a strong aftermarket strong support cheap parts and that you got to go with the big big brands and in the opposite side of that i think doug mentioned in a barth a fiat a barth five a Barth 500. That would be an interesting, fun little car because it's basically a shopping cart. It's the same reason the Mini is so much fun. Right. But where the Mini is got the might of BMW behind it, Fiat has the might of, well, Peugeot behind it. Fun little car, but that's going to get pricey. There's a lot of like options. I honestly think the idea of going and doing, finding a car in a yard whether it be a, a co-part or similar, kind of bringing it back from, quote, the dead or making it interesting, kind of like the early B is for build game, would be kind of a fun little project uh, to do. It's just, uh, as our viewers will find out in the very near future, we are both very, very tied up with sort of dream projects at the moment. Down the line, it's something that would be cool. Doug says, if yeah. budget is a factor, why waste so much money going late model, get a C4 and LS swap it? 
You get name cred, power parts, and cheapness. 100% yeah. agree with you. We are just sticking to the, as uh, Greg so um, rudely corrected me, we are sticking to the <laughs> parameters of the question. <laughs> yeah. Um, which was yeah, so late. Christian's question was, it has to be like a modern car. It's more about like budget. Can you do a budget build on modern cars at all? And the answer is yes, but you just got to find the right car. Now, of course you can find a budget build on a C4 because they're old. You can find them on the cheap and you can chuck whatever you want at it really because to Doug's point, there's ample, ample parts and aftermarket support for Corvettes of every generation, maybe less the C1 and C2 because they're super old. But C4 Plus, you have a litany of options. And, this, so, and not for nothing, you know, the C4 and C5 are arguably the least desirable generations of Corvette. Doing like a C4 LS swap could be fun. I've actually done the sort of the base research on this. And it's really basic. It's literally just figuring out track width and wheelbase. But you could theoretically <laughs> fit a Volvo 240 body, especially the coupe, on a C5 chassis. So we know what our next build's gonna be. <laughs> that would be so cool to actually do. You know, I think someone did this with an Amazon a while ago. I know Larry Chen did like a photo shoot of it, but someone did it with like an Amazon and I thought doing it with a 240 would be kind of neat, kind of cool, just because you basically have modern-ish for the time sports car. C5s yeah. are becoming huge. They're becoming a very popular option in the drift scene. So like, you know, the chassis is pretty good if you take it drift drifting. I always thought that would be kind of a cool, cool thing to get with like our boys at Blue Sky and stuff like that and say, hey, what if we did this? And it's a C5 is not that much different from a C6 mechanically speaking. So there's a lot of yeah. parts transfer. So I think that would be that would be pretty cool. 